and uh, we look forward uh, to a very engaging uh, set of conversations with uh, different stakeholders. So just to set some context uh, here, uh, 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 you know, as you know, last year was a real breakout year for the unicorn ecosystem. Uh, we had close to 42 unicorns, uh, taking the number of unicorns up to up to 81. And happy to say that uh, you know we also have about four of them from uh, from Telangana, right? We'd obviously like that number to be much larger, but uh, you know from uh, tiny oaks to mighty oaks grow, as they say. So we do hope the four will become much larger as time goes on, right? So just quickly looking at some of the factors which are driving this, I think uh, there's been a sea change in the landscape. You know our internet penetration is second only to to China. Our data our data consumption fueled by the lowest cost of data anywhere in the world, right? On a per GB basis. Uh, UPI adoption, we are now the fastest uh, growing digital payment system anywhere in the world. Then of course, a lot of traditional companies are digitizing in a big way. And COVID, I think in some ways, uh, while I guess one of the, while COVID has had many deleterious effects, but one of the things which has happened with COVID is because it has forced and hastened the process of digitization in many traditional uh, businesses. Right? Uh, we are also seeing, you know, unlike many of the early stages, uh, you know, unicorns, which were essentially replicas of models which had been tried and tested in the West and were kind of implanted and transferred here, we are now starting to see a breakout moment, which is innovation happening here. You know, and I'm referring to companies like. Uh, for example, consumer companies like Urban Clap, then of course SaaS companies like uh, Freshworks, then uh, you know uh, API aggregation companies like Postman, etc. Right, are now truly expanding their, their landscape, their reach out to uh, to you know to address a truly global market. Right, so coming down to Telangana and Hyderabad, right? Uh, Hyderabad uh, is now among the top five startup hubs in terms of uh, deal count and in terms of funding. Uh, last year, we had close to $900 million of funding which came into the Hyderabad and Telangana ecosystem. From a regional ecosystem standpoint, uh, there was a study done by the startup genome uh, ranking and we were ranked among the top 15 from an affordable talent list, from the top 20 from a regional ecosystem funding uh, standpoint and from a thought top 30 from a regional ecosystem performance standpoint, right? So taking all of that into account, we thought this is an opportune time to put this event together, right? Where we bring, uh, uh, bring startups uh, driven by energetic, passionate founders and corporates who are now looking to bridge the gap in innovation, right? Uh, together, right? So essentially, what are we trying to do at T-Hub very quickly is how do we build an ecosystem, right? So when you think about an ecosystem, uh, we talk about a few factors and I'm going to take recourse to, you know, a few, uh, uh, I'm going to use a few acronyms here to kind of highlight what I'm talking about. So, so our vision of what it takes for a startup to be successful is essentially around what we call the five M's, right? Very quickly, access to, um, access to markets, access to money, access to uh, mentors, and I have to be gender correct here, but I'll use the word access to manpower slash talent. And of course they need motivation, right? To be successful. And what we are trying to do in today's event is essentially one part of that, which is how do we help startups get access to, to markets, right? So that's essentially what we are trying to do. How do we, our role we see at T-Hub as being a catalyst, as being an orchestrator and bringing together different parts of the ecosystem together and help bridge the gaps between academia, industry, industry associations, markets, right? Uh, funding entities and, you know, basically create a, you know, uh, help create a virtuous cycle by which startups can quickly get all the support they require to be able to scale to the, you know, to the next level. Looking at it from a corporate angle, right? And very quickly, uh, fundamentally, we do know that uh, you know, in uh, you know, the the market is unforgiving. It's all about the survival of the paranoid, survival of the fittest. And clearly, innovation is what is driving 
is driving corporate growth and you can see you know even in the last few years and further accelerated by what's happened with covid uh, companies are innovating and and you know moving to the next level like ne never before right so i'm going to take the opportunity to share one of my favorite quotes and this is actually a quote by uh, professor uh, professor bill ole from the mit sloan school of management right and uh, it's a very simple quote uh, it is innovation is equal to invention into commercialization right and as you can see very profound when you think about it from two standpoints first of all it is multiplication it is not addition so so an innovation by itself doesn't mean anything unless you figure out a way to commercialize it and get it into the hands of the potential consumers so that's one part of what i thought and that's what i think most corporates are thinking the second is innovations is about you know how do you get uh, it's again the second equation if you will is uh, innovations is ideas into into process right uh, again additive not additive again multiplicative because unless there's a process which we can work together to basically define to curate and then to socialize to get buy in and then implement and measure the efficacy of the idea it will again come to naught right so just these two equations which is uh, innovation uh, innovation is equal to uh, uh, invention into commercialization and innovation is equal to ideas into process and the last one innovation is equal to invention into crisis right so it's always right and we can think of many many times you know both in the history of nations history of companies history of organizations where where crisis brings out the best in you and when survival becomes paramount you have to pivot you have to do things differently and you have to get rid of the old and bring in the new right so from that standpoint we do recognize that uh, all the corporates and we are uh, so happy to have about 40 corporates who taking part in this event uh, you know who recognize the need for innovation and have decided to give of their time to take part of in this event so thank you for being here and of course thank you to all the startups uh, which reached out to be here and uh, uh, we look forward to a really engaging uh, set of sessions we have a few we have a keynote uh, by uh, by sindhu gangadharan who will follow after this and then of course we have a panel discussion and then we have uh, uh, you know uh, equivalent of match making slash uh, speed dating sessions in the afternoon and we really look forward to that so thank you for being part of this first uh event which we are putting together we hope to make this a series and we look forward to you know to all the panelists being back here and uh, building a strong connect between corporates startups and together building a very strong ecosystem for scale and growth thank you thank you msr uh thank you for that welcome note and setting the context for this yeah uh, day uh, confluence of the first edition of confluence 2022 and uh, indeed it's important for uh, corporates to kind of uh, support the startup ecosystem and probably also to leverage the startup ecosystem to kind of uh, accelerate their uh, open innovation uh, opportunities uh, with this uh, we move to the next and the most uh, you know awaited uh, keynote address uh, from ms sindhu gangadharan our, our guest of honor today this morning Uh, a brief introduction i'm sure i mean she's one somebody who needs no introduction but at the same time I, it's it's my uh, duty to kind of introduce the speaker to uh, to the audience here i'll take a couple of minutes to you know kind of wrap up the illustrious career the sindhu has had in 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 run up to being uh, uh, head of india uh, sap labs uh ms sindhu holds the uh, dual responsibility of uh, being a senior vice president in the user enablement a uh, business as well as the uh, uh, direct managing director of sap labs india and and uh, she leads the entire uh, research and development efforts in india with uh, facilities are spread across the country i mean uh, bangalore pune mumbai hyderabad and gurgaon where sap has its presence today and and uh, she is uh, it's one of the largest research and uh, development center outside uh, germany for uh, sap and uh, we are proud as as indians we have that much uh, capability to deliver to the world right uh, ms sindhu all joined sap uh, in 1999 uh, and in the bangalore operations and uh, grown from 
uh, positions to positions. I'm, just, I'm sure it's a long uh, list of uh, responsibilities she has held, so I'm not going to go much into detail. But uh, uh, at this point in time, she she leads the efforts in, in, uh, for SAP India with great uh, great pride, and I'm sure we will uh, she will soon join the list of Indian CEOs. Uh, you know, for the global corporates very soon. Sindhu uh, also heads uh, is part of a couple of very uh, uh, you know boards of Qualtrics, uh, uh, international and and an experience management software company, and uh, she is also an independent director at Titan, her own homegrown uh, Bangalore brand, uh, which is which is some you know, very integral part of all of our life. Uh, Sindhu has been featured as the top uh, you know in the top fifty most powerful women in business twenty twenty one. And I'm sure uh, there is so much, much more uh, that I, we can talk about uh, Ms. Sindhu and her achievements, uh, but I would like to hear from her uh, and, and, and on this keynote address. And uh, once again, thank you very much, Ms. Sindhu, for joining us for this keynote address. And I'm sure uh, me and our audience are looking forward to hear from you uh, today. Over to you, Ms. Sindhu. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Paneer Selvam, for those very, very kind words. Um, and uh, it's such an honor to be here today. Very good morning uh, to all of you uh, who are joining in from both the corporate side as well from the startup side. And thank you so much, MSR, uh, and the entire team at T-Hub, right, for inviting me uh, to this inaugural edition of uh, T-Hub Confluence 2022. Um, I think it's fascinating to see how T-Hub is also scaling uh, further up under your great uh, leadership and expertise uh, MSR, and it was great to also listen in to your perspectives. And I totally uh, believe that we have a lot to learn from you and your three-year uh, uh, decade experience in the IT industry. And fully um, with you on the five M's for startups and uh, fully with you also on uh, what you just articulated, right? Innovation equal to uh, invention into um, commercialization, ideas into process, invention, into crisis. So fully, fully with you. And I think there's lots of uh, insights in, into those uh, gems that you just shared with all of us. Uh, and I truly believe, right, that what we are starting here today will uh, certainly play a huge, huge role uh, in furthering that open innovation culture that we are all so proud of uh, here in India. And um, where I think if you just reflect back in the, in the last decade or so, it's also a lot of the symbiotic relationship that has been there between startups and between corporates like us, right? And um, like we heard from you, MSR, uh, COVID-19 clearly, I mean, a crisis, like you said, also kind of um, uh, um, accelerates the pace of innovation. It's purely from, from the need to survive as well. And clearly we have seen that uh, with COVID and how it has acted as a, as a booster, right? For adoption of technology solutions by both uh, consumers out there, but also enterprises, right? Uh, and we've seen that this has had a very direct impact as well on, on startups. And we've also seen that there's a significant increase uh, in the use cases, which um, clearly have become viable and feasible to build, but also to take to market. Um, the connection back to the commercialization bit. And again, um, across uh, 2020 and 2021, I think uh, clearly the ecosystem has also accelerated India's ambition, right, towards the $1 trillion uh, digital economy ambition. And particularly, we are seeing that in sectors like uh, uh, BFSI, healthcare, education, agriculture, supply chain, logistics. And I think consistently, all these sectors have also gained that exponential um, pays also uh, through the pandemic. And I'm sure all of you on this call would, would absolutely agree that collaborations and partnerships are, are key, right? Or, or even central uh, to the growth strategy of, of every startup. Uh, and if I just reflect back on this NASCOM Zinov report, uh, clearly it states that more than 66% of founders are also exploring partnerships as a key strategy, right? And uh, particularly, I think like also what MSR uh, reflected, it's it's very true in these very extremely, very dynamic times. You wanna stand there, accelerate, uh, be at the pace of, of the change, then it's only through partnerships that, that it's possible. And uh, we've seen that also with the numbers, right? Um, 
with over 135 plus unique corporate engagements and over 75 plus open innovation programs, uh, the corporate participation that we are seeing in the Indian startup ecosystem is absolutely uh, on the rise, right? Um, but I like like we also agree uh, there's still, um, uh, and I think there's strong belief among us that a greater number of corporates definitely also need to come to the forefront uh, to continue to support and continue to foster uh, this culture of open innovation. And uh, if you just also reflect a uh, little bit on the corporate accelerators across across the board, right? I think we'd all agree that this has moved from the uh, the earlier times of very traditional, just the mentorship based support to clearly to creating that outcome based, value based engagement, right? For both parties. And some of the models that we have seen emerging and and creating those values for both the startups as well as for corporates that we are seeing clearly is multifold, right? First thing, it's it's many times it's about platform evangelization as well, where corporates like us offer access to, to our platforms, to startups, and uh, through that also opening up opportunities uh, for startups uh, where you can rely on the fact that you have a solid technology that you can uh, kind of uh, back up. You have a very stable underlying technology base that also enables startups to very quickly scale up. The second thing, the model that we are seeing is also the, the license or vendor agreement, right? Where you leverage that very unique IP of the startup to enable sales and operational excellence. The third model is, of course, which is also very popular, is the joint go-to-market, where we partner with startups to cross-sell uh, solutions. And many times, it's also about complementary solutions that we can take to market. And then it's about the co-innovation model. Right, and we're seeing that in, in numerous cases uh, with the customers that we um, um, support, where we're bringing in those very unique uh, capabilities, uh, which are startups that we that we support, uh, can really come in there and co-innovate with um, with us to deliver upon those outcomes that our customers have. Right, and it's really about that model where startups and corporates collaborate to co-create those innovative solutions. Those innovative outcomes. And if I just reflect a little bit uh, at SAP, um, uh, we've had our startup studio program, which is uh, since uh, uh, several years now, where we are creating value for our participating startups, um, as well as the SAP customers in this geography, right? And all of this has been through very focused open innovation approach, which is focused on that go-to-market as well as that co-innovation, uh, which we are very uh, proud of uh, together with SAP. And if I just reflect back, and this is also uh, standing on uh, the shoulders of great leaders like uh, Justin and Anzi, um, who have been the founders of the Startup Studio program here at, at Labs India, uh, it's very cool to see that the program has nurtured and supported over 51 enterprise technology startups uh, with SAP's technology enablement, also giving startups the access to the best of our product experts uh, for co-innovation guidance. And this is also possible because we have the access of the entire solution portfolio here in one location, which means also the product owners, the chief product owners, the architects, um, the go-to-market experts are also here in the region, right? And talking about go-to-market, several go-to-market engagements uh, with also key customers here uh, at SAP uh, in this region. Right, And if I just also look at the average deal size uh, for our collaborating startups, uh, it's in the range of 50,000 uh, euros to 75,000 euros per deal, right? Um, and yes, this is a great start for us, but we also believe we have a long way ahead, right? And uh, we are genuinely um, um, convinced in this power of, of collaboration, right? And this is collaboration across multiple frontiers. And as for startups, I think it's also important to understand this open innovation culture uh, provides them with the possibility to also align according to their innovation capabilities, their um, uh, uh, possibilities to scale as well and partner and or you called it matchmaking <laughs> earlier on, right? Um, partner with those corporates, which also map to your innovation agenda, map to important also your culture that you have, right? as well as your go-to-market strategy. 
Now, while we spoke about the role of uh, accelerators and startups in the realm of open innovation, I think uh, it's also the technology readiness of the ecosystem, which clearly also enables it to become open innovation ready, right? And I think MSR also, you, you, you talked about it. We've seen how the Indian ecosystem has, has clearly evolved and, and is today, uh, no doubt, the global leader across multiple technology and across multiple uh, industry verticals. Now, the India stack for sure has also provided startups and enterprises in India a new age innovation architecture that fundamentally also reduces the time to market and challenges a lot of the industry norms that exist uh, out there, right? And the technology readiness as well, the readiness level of uh, startups in India, uh, especially what we are seeing in the enterprise domain is also a very, very key factor uh, for us to collaborate, it, collaborate even more, right? And if we just uh, uh, look at it, I mean, in general, we are sector agnostic, but at the same time, uh, we've always had our uh, eyes on the emerging technology stack, right? And uh, if you look at industry specific um, areas around usage of AI for industry specific usage uh, or uh, and usage of uh, machine learning for industry specific use cases are some of the key technology pillars for us. And also we're very uh, clear that we, we are focusing on those use cases around industry verticals uh, be it retail, be it consumer products, uh, be it life sciences, be it automotive, uh, be it um, uh, utilities, right? Be it professional services, because clearly for us, these are the fast movers uh, for us here in India. And this year, we also have a very dedicated focus around um, sustainability technology. I'm sure you've all uh, heard about our very strong commitment um, uh, to be a net, a net zero uh, across our value chain, right? And this is in line with the 1.5 degree future in 2030 and uh, 20 years earlier than, than originally targeted, right? Very strong commitment on sustainability, very strong commitment on how we run sustainably uh, as an organization, but it's also about building out a portfolio of uh, sustainability solutions that help and support our half a million customers to, to, um, to become sustainable intelligent enterprises. So this is a huge, huge focus uh, for us as well at, at, at SAP. And this year, again, we are here together because uh, this is the beginning of a strategic partnership with T-Hub, which we are all very excited about, and also getting closer to the, uh, to the ecosystem uh, in Telangana. And uh, and the ecosystem rich in talent, you, you talked about the regional ecosystem and also of course, uh, funding, right? That's all, all very uh, uh, key pieces that come together nicely for this collaboration. And I'm super happy uh, that already an array of engagements have been planned up all through the year uh, between SAP Startup Studio and T-Hub uh, to foster that spirit of open innovation. Uh, so you can see that we are super excited to scale this collaboration together with you and create that lasting impact uh, in the Indian startup ecosystem. And in conclusion, M MSR and Mr. Paneer Selvam, I would, and the entire team here, I'd like to also extend my, my best wishes to the entire T-Hub team, right? Uh, you've received also the fresh funding of uh, uh, five crore rupees as part of the Startup um, India Seed Fund. Uh, from the central government. Again, a huge, huge validation of your strategy, your uh, vision, and your commitment uh, to help uh, scale startups uh, here in India. Um, so in all in all, on behalf of the entire SAP family, I wish the team here all the very best uh, for all the upcoming endeavors. The journey will be exciting, challenging, but that's what may will make it fun. And together, uh, looking forward to nurturing the Indian uh, startup ecosystem. Thank you so much for having me here. And I really wish all of you um, a wonderful day ahead and uh, then followed with a great weekend too. No? Take care. Thank you. Great. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Ms. Sindhu, for that uh, uh, kind of inspirational speech and, and, and also the fact that you outlined the commitment of SAP towards uh, towards building a very strong and robust startup uh, ecosystem here in India. And, and uh, I think uh, it's important for, for the, uh, the large corporates 
uh, to kind of uh, you know uh, step into the role of nurturing the uh, younger uh, younger brethren who will eventually become large uh, and 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 uh, follow you know kind of paid forward as well so i i'm i'm really uh, thank you for uh, you know for this uh, wonderful note and uh, you know we are very very pleased to be partnering with sap uh, the, the corporate innovation team that i lead uh, we have been in touch and we have been engaging the sap team and uh, the commitment on sustainability and the focus uh, and and the kind of rigor that uh, that the team sap uh, you know startup studio has put up is amazing and uh, we we wish to really strengthen this partnership in the coming years and uh, on behalf of hyderabad and telangana i'm sure i can make a request you know that we should really have a much stronger and a larger and a more exciting presence of uh, sap in hyderabad and and uh, and uh, in fact the whole of telangana uh, can benefit from growing sap in this region right and uh, thank you so much for your for your wonderful uh, address and and uh, i also take this opportunity to kind of um, let the audience know at uh, i take a couple of minutes to share what we do at corporate innovation at uh, t hub and uh, and uh, just as a couple of minutes so in essentially we you know the t hub is structured in three key verticals or key three key buckets which is our first and foremost is our startup innovation we we work extensively with the startups uh, on on building their capacity capability and and accelerating them and the second uh, you know uh, chunk is the co corporate innovation where we uh, what i call is a, is a two way super highway between uh, corporates and startups so where the corporates can actually uh, leverage the the uh, agility the technology and the and the uh, innovation and and the entire uh, emerging tech piece and and uh, from the startup ecosystem and while the startups can actually leverage the entire uh, you know resources mentorship in terms of um, funding talent everything everything that the corporate and market access that the corporates offer or to offer and in a way we kind of uh, always bring this you uh, know our role is to kind of bring them together and enable a very uh, fruitful and uh, outcome based uh, relationship between the corporates and the startup ecosystem so that's pretty much what we do and this uh, confluence 2022 is one such endeavor where we wish to kind of give them uh, give the corporates a, a flavor of what is happening in the startup ecosystem because it's so dynamic and it's it's continuously and thanks to uh covid kind of situation we're constantly pivoting and 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 uh, re reinventing ourselves for the need of the day and and uh, given that this you know the corporates will get a flavor of what the startup ecosystem is thinking and uh, the startups will get an understanding of what their potential customers are really expecting out of them that's pretty much what we do at the corporate innovation and with that i take this opportunity to kind of uh, thank you msr again uh, for uh, inaugurating this uh, session and thank you so much ms sindhu for uh, coming in and giving this inaugural address unfortunately a couple of panelists were don't join today uh, owing to health reasons but uh, we are glad that uh, ms sindhu you could make it and we look forward to hosting you in person in t hub uh, very very soon and uh, and uh, wish to strengthen this partnership between uh, sap and t hub thank you so much and thank you everybody who has joined us for this session i see a very large number of audience uh, you know and given that it's a it's a morning session it's very encouraging to see a significant amount of audience already there so i wish you all a wonderful day, a day of uh, interacting and and uh, engaging with each other uh, and uh, thank you so much ms sindhu for joining us thank you very much thank you bye everybody take care thank you sindhu thank you very much thank you. Right. Great. So uh, we do have a little bit of time, and and uh, thank you, MSR, for staying on. And I request uh, uh, our, our you know our vice president, startup innovation, Mr. Suresh Adina, to join as well. And since do we have a, a bit of time, we can always uh, you know we're kind of opening up the sessions for conversations on ask me anything uh, kind of an opportunity. for all the participants who would like to uh, who would like to uh, know more about t hub be it startup or corporates uh, we are happy to uh, uh, answer your queries question you know 
your uh, areas of uh, interest. If you have any, uh, we are happy to take questions and, and take it forward from there. Shankar, it will be helpful if you could also. Yeah. Attendees can use the raise and option uh, to talk to the speaker directly or else please use the Q&A box for your questions. I could see a one raise and option from Oscar Global. Yeah, please go ahead and you know, put on a question, please. Oscar Global Research. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Sridhar, ready? Please go ahead and talk. Hi, very good morning to all. Yes, Sridhar, we can hear you. Yeah, yeah, very good morning. I just heard a very uh, great word from Sindhu uh, congratulating uh, Mother Gopal sir that uh, we have received 5 crore of uh, for seed funding. Just would like to query that uh, do you have any support in terms of seed funding for uh, startups which are at, still at idea, idea phase level? We are ready with MVP requirements all. We are clear on what we need to have as a MVP product and ideation. So do you have any opportunity for seed funding after the proper validation from your end? Uh, so, uh, Sridhar, I'll uh, respond very quickly. So, just to put this in context, we have uh, two funding avenues open to us at this point in time. Uh, yeah. And of course, there are others, but I'll focus on the two first and then maybe we'll talk about the other once I finish with the first two. So, we have uh, a T fund, which is a, a Telangana uh, government supported fund. Uh, the funding which is available through that fund is uh, 15 crores. Uh, we've just uh, had our first couple of meetings of the investment committee and I'm happy to share with you uh, that uh, we've decided to support uh, three startups. Uh, the news will be out in the public domain fairly, fairly shortly. So I'll save the numbers and the details of the startup till it becomes public. Just to okay. tell you that we're going to go ahead and support. Uh, yeah. Of the three, uh, we have uh, one of them is uh, at this point in time uh, is already generating uh, significant operating revenue. And the other okay. two are, you know, have built an MVP, are in the process of commercializing. So we'll yeah. obviously deal with each uh, opportunity on a merit to merit, uh, on a merit based uh, basis. So we don't have a particular, you know, uh, so we look at uh, entities which are already generating revenue, which have got some traction. We'll also okay. look at uh, supporting uh, entities which have right now come up with, let's say, an MVP, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, basically we believe that the funding, if we do believe that the funding can help accelerate what they're doing, we'll be happy to support. Of course, everything is going to be completely uh, you know, merit-based. Uh, yeah. you know, we have a process, etc. Uh, so that's the T fund part. And then we also have, so T fund is uh, the current uh, engagement for T fund will be for startups, which are, which are headquartered in Telangana. Right? So okay. all funding would happen for uh, for entities which are headquartered in Telangana. Uh, the second part of the funding is with respect to the uh, Startup India Seed Fund, which is what you would have probably seen in the papers recently, which is a five crore uh, fund. And uh, the we will be calling for applications for both the Telangana Fund as well as the Startup Seed Fund. Uh, so please uh, keep what, tracking what we are doing on, uh, you know, on uh, both our website as well yeah. as on our social media channels, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. etc. So we will yeah. be calling for applications. Uh, yeah. We have a we have a in for both the Startup India Seed Fund as well as for the Telangana Fund, we have an eminent panel put together with uh, you know with industrialists, uh, venture funds, uh, people who run venture funds, uh, yeah. you know, academicians, etc., which will decide merits of each of the uh, pitches which are made. And then, yeah. of course, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, support uh, you know, uh, the selected startups. Uh, and our role for, as far as supporting the selected startups is not just about giving you the funding, but yeah. we also are trying to, you know, I refer to you know, how we can we help you with your go to market? How can we help mm -hmm. you accelerate that process? How can we help yeah. line up the right kind of mentors? Right. And all yeah. the pieces I spoke about is what we are seeking to do. It's not just about giving you funding, but we do believe that. Uh, you know, it takes it takes uh, for a startup to get to scale. It requires a lot of uh, support, and we'll be happy to provide that. 
Great, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, I see a question here and I'll quickly respond about how to apply for T-Fund. As I said, it will be an open process. Uh, we will put it out. You, if you track our uh, you know, social media channels, we'll pull out, uh, ask for calls for application. Uh, there is a vetting process and then the selected startups uh, will, you know, will get an opportunity to pitch to, a, you know, to an eminent jury, uh, which will make the recommendations on uh, you know, funding, quantum of funding, uh, type of companies to be selected, as well as the you know valuation and other related parameters, so watch uh, watch the space as this as I would say. Yeah. Hello, sir. My name is D S K Chakravarti. I am from a company called as Virtusa. Um, though we work on uh, our individual core servicing businesses, keeping that aside, we also have something called as innovative. Uh, um, uh, hub within ourselves and anything that we do in that particular hub, mostly we work as a startup kind of a, a mindset. The intention that I'm trying to bring your attention here is don't look me as a point of a Virtusa because Virtusa is a big company, um, but keeping that aside, look me as a startup within small unit of thing that we are trying to come up with. The intention to inquire with you is I see a lot of good uh, people professors joined this particular call. Academia is also, there are a lot of people from the academy also joined here this particular call. My query to you is in two folds. One, how can we connect with academia so that the research that this academy uh, experts are doing it is not only limited to the point of these white papers or papers published in journals and they are dying there itself. They are not transforming into a concept of innovation. As MSR said in the beginning, how can we take that thought to innovation and production? And we being in the IT uh, uh, work, lacking the support from the academia, because all the people that we are there within our company, they're all small kind of, a, uh, uh, they're not research scholars, they're, they're just grads. They are doing research because company is asking them to do some kind of a work, but they're not passionate about the research. <coughs> so my point to you is what the hub is trying to help to build the gap between the academia and the small size uh, startups that are happening within the big companies like Virtusa. Uh, okay, sir, I'll take this one. So, yeah, hi, uh, DSK, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm also an ex Virtusa employee, so I can connect with you directly. Uh, we are, I think, uh, we actually work with almost all academic institutes in Hyderabad and also in Chennai, Bangalore. Uh, we have a close tie up with them. We work with uh, both the incubators with the, within the institutes as well as the, uh, the research oriented faculty with them. So we are happy to connect with you. I will be actually happy to come to Virtusa, I think, not far away from where we are. Uh, come meet and I mean, meet and understand what you all you do and how we can collaborate. We are very happy to bring. We are actually now uh, physically located within the IIIT campus and we work closely with their faculty as well as their CIE incubator. Uh, so we are happy to connect and bring you that uh, connection. Thank you, Suresh. I'll, I'll, I'll just, uh, sorry, uh, DSK, I'll just uh, supplement what uh, Suresh uh, just said. Uh, there's, so, you know, one of the things uh, there are, you know, the government of Telangana actually set up several institu institutions, right? And one of the institutions which I will talk about a little bit is an entity called Rich, uh, the Research and Innovation Circle of Hyderabad. Uh, they happen to be incidentally working out of the same building as T-Hub, on the same floor as T-Hub. And uh, just to give you some context, uh, the whole idea of Rich is to basically... Uh, to focus on how do you bring innovation from the lab to the market. So in the, to give some context, there are uh, 41 uh, institutions uh, within in Hyderabad. Uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have institutions across a wide range of sectors. So for example, you have uh, people like Agritech. Uh, from an Agritech standpoint, we have Ecrisat, we have NAARM. Then we have the Indian Institute of, you know, in other sectors, life sciences and uh, uh, we have uh, things like uh, the you know uh, National Institute of Nutrition. We have the Indian Institute of Chemical Technology. Uh, we have uh, many defense labs, etc. So, rich 
and uh, tihab work very collaboratively work hand in hand and uh, for some for any of you who require support in terms of connecting to academia right uh, there are as suresh mentioned uh, we work closely with a number of them uh, and those you know there may be others whom we don't work with but we will be happy to facilitate connections through uh, through rich to you know to uh, to uh, uh, to anyone who's keen on a specific uh, you know uh, getting access to specific uh, sectoral expertise uh, within these labs thank you sir um, i'll not take much time one minute one suggestion um, most of our research what we currently doing are towards the sensors and for all the sensors we are all dependent on china manufacturers they are not standard yet there are no other person than the manufacturers uh, uh, who can supply us um, so i recommend whatever the fund that you have currently would be invested towards small scale industries where they produce the mass uh, production as china is doing it especially like electronic wise so please consider this as a suggestion thank, thank you uh, dsk we'll take that input uh, i also see a couple of uh, ps do we have some more time for some questions yes we have uh, i'm sir more 15 minutes uh, to take some questions yeah. So, so I think uh, 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 Shankar, if you can, you know, I think uh, I see a lot of messages on chat. Uh, some of them seem to be good morning, good afternoon type of thing, but they also seem to be some specific, you know, uh, specific uh, questions, you know, in terms of asks. So if you could just pick them up and then, you know, uh, have them, uh, we can have, try and respond to some of them. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, so one, one of the questions, yeah, sorry. One such question I think is, uh, uh, you know, yes, do you yes, get yes. mentoring support for mentoring support for uh, ideation level start uh, ideation level startups? Uh, the, uh, the answer to that is, I think uh, yes, you do. But uh, even I mean, you do get mentoring, but eventually you need to quickly move to an MVP stage so that uh, you can you can be part of the the uh, more uh, more what do you call. Uh, effective programs of what we have has to have offer. So one of the questions says, uh, are you planning to open a special cohort for biotechnology in T-Hub as Telangana is growing well in biospace? Sure. Uh, so I'll quickly respond to that. Uh, so one, uh, so at this point in time, one of the areas, and you'll see more of that, you know, as we as we go forward is also trying to identify a few areas where we can build a, uh, you know, two parts. One is a deep collaborative ecosystem, as well as uh, trying to identify, I'll just give you a set of areas and these are right now, you know, this is still work in progress, but we're trying to identify about five or six areas where we want to establish Hyderabad as the center of innovation, right? And, you know, entrepreneurship, in those areas and some of the areas we have you know kind of identified there's of course work to be done before we roll it out you know formally our areas like for example uh, uh, you know in the life sciences space uh, which is i think what kind of uh, you refer to uh, in the medical devices space uh, possibly in uh, fintech uh, possibly in uh, blockchain uh, possibly in um, edutech right uh, possibly in uh, you know animation and gaming uh, because there's also an initiative by the government of Telangana, you know, in terms of setting up a large facility for animation and gaming, uh, which is being set up right next to, uh, you know, T-Hub phase two. Uh, I think somebody had a question about hardware, right? So I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the work which, uh, with uh, T-Works is doing. Uh, T-Works is another entity set up by the government of uh, Telangana, which helps hard, which way helps uh, entities which are working on hardware uh, to convert what they are doing, you know, to from a, to a first to a prototype, and then also to some extent to convert to uh, mass production, right? So we will identify five or six areas, uh, sectors, where we want to establish, uh, you know, uh, Hyderabad and Telangana uh, as the center of innovation and entrepreneurship, 
so you will see some of these initiatives rolling out during the uh, course of the year right so as i said again watch this space uh, so we'll allow a few of the raised hand options here to talk. Uh, Mr. Kiran, uh, please go ahead with your question. Yeah. Um, hi, uh, my name is uh, Kiran. Um, we, we are, our company name is Medfile. And uh, we are, uh, uh, you know, we develop software for hospitals, labs and diagnostic centers for their business operations right now. Um, we we have some traction in Telangana right now already. We have about 300 uh, hospitals labs using our software. Now the, th the concept is we want to we want to expand Pan India, um, like you know something like uh, Zoho Books has done uh, for the healthcare segment. Would would I get some support from T Hub for doing this kind of expansion in terms of mentoring as well as financial support? Uh, Suresh, do you would you like to respond, and then I'll com complement what you're saying. Yeah, uh, sorry, could you repeat the question? I didn't quite follow what the question is. This See, uh, we uh, we are we develop software for for uh, operations software for hospitals and diagnostic centers. Okay. Um, eventually, we have some idea of consolidating and creating a medical file for the patient, but I feel the market is not there yet because hospitals are not willing to give out information still. So, I mean, so we are in the operations software and yeah. we have about two, about 300 clients in Hyderabad already. Okay. And uh, we want to uh, grow Pan India basis uh, in a faster approach, uh, 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 quickly uh, Pan India basis. And I wanted to see if I can get the mentoring as well as the financial support for doing this kind of expansion. Definitely. I mean, we have uh, we have programs that are, you know, uh, geared towards uh, startups at different stages and healthcare. We actually work with uh, Atal Innovation Mission. Under that, we have the Atal Innovation Center uh, hosted at DHAM. And our focus there is uh, health and life sciences. So we'll be very happy to work with you on that. I mean, uh, in terms of uh, expansion, that's one of the key areas that we support the startups in. Uh, funding, as MSR already explained, uh, it's conditional based on qualification. Uh, any startup that is qualified will be very happy to provide the funding support and uh, help you grow. Okay. So should I should I come and meet you sometime at T Hub? Definitely, that would be very great. I mean, uh, today I'm the only one on the call, but we have a good uh, set of team. We're also founders, so you can come and meet the team and you'll understand the specific uh, need that you are in with. What area you're working in, and then suggest what how we can move forward. So maybe maybe tomorrow day after tomorrow I can come by to the. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately, Saturday Sunday we are yeah, not. Yeah, no, no. I mean, yeah, Next maybe Monday or Tuesday. Definitely in the office. Uh, yeah, definitely. You just need to give us one day notice because uh, there are restrictions on entry. One day prior, if you inform the team, uh, we'll be happy to meet you at. Should team. I should I call the team directly and inform them, or how do I? Is there an email? Yeah, you can just write to community at thub.co. I'm, I'm going to put this as a general mail ID for all to uh, reach out to, right? So you can, anybody who has a query can just write to this mail ID and uh, we can happy to take, respond to you and then understand what your needs are and take it forward. Okay. I sure. put the mail ID in the chat box. So any startup that would like to have some discussion with us whether it's related to mentoring, growth, Funding related, what are all the questions that you have? Uh, we'll be happy to have an engaged discussion with you first and then guide you in terms of where you can go. Okay, I put the mail ID in the chat box. Please take a look. MSR, you want to add something? I think, yeah. So, I mean, I uh, just want to state again that uh, I see a lot of questions on, uh, on chat. Uh, as I said, uh, some of this may require individual one on one conversations uh, happy to do so uh, and again uh, uh, you know we work with uh, just to put you know make sure that everybody gets this uh, we work with startups at dif different stages we work with startups which are at idea stage uh, we work with startups which have reached a certain critical mass in terms of mvp customers etc uh, we work with startups which are bootstrapped we work with startups which are funded so we are you know uh, we are not uh, you know, uh, we are also 
reasonably sector agnostic at this point of time uh, we want to essentially get you know to build a you know, build a ecosystem where startups of all kinds and shades can scale and grow uh, obviously our our focus is little more oriented towards uh, product slash platform based uh, companies uh, and not so much on traditional services types of uh, companies because that's the story you know with which whose time is now kind of past right uh, so uh, and again you know sectors uh, it could be direct to consumer it is b to b to g b to b to c you know all of those uh, you know whatever acronyms you can think of we are happy to uh, to to support and uh, as suresh said uh, uh, please do to reach out uh, it's a fairly simple mail id community at uh, thehub.co Uh, just drop us a note, and uh, we'll happy to connect and set up uh, individual one-on-ones. Uh, again, uh, you know, we'll we want to make as many meetings as possible in person, but we'll obviously we have to watch the you know evolving situation with COVID. So we may uh, in some cases have to do this you know, virtually, but uh, that's you know that's reality. So we'll all work around that. <clears throat> Uh, we'll take one more question. Anita, please go ahead with your question. Anita Rego, please go ahead with your question. Okay. Uh, I'm Anita Rego, and I work in the mental health space. And if you are aware, Telangana is almost sitting on a time bomb when it comes to mental health issues. It is on the top three for uh, suicides. it's on the top 3 for uh, alcohol dependence it has severe problems in terms of uh, issues related to mental health and uh, and there's also been a call from the health department for addressing mental health issues i have been trying to, i have my uh, startup uh, is a web enabled uh, a platform which becomes an entry point for people having mental health uh, issues and from there we intend to have a whole range of services for people who are in this uh, who are in the space now i have started getting traction but however i'm looking out for support in terms of uh, strengthening a marketing space because that's not something that i think i am a little weaker on so i have tried applying but somehow something is not working so in that sense i wanted to request if someone can really assess me and help me out in terms of where is it that i'm going wrong and some amount of hand holding so that i can actually get this off the ground and work it well yeah hi uh, suresh here uh, so i mean mental health is is definitely a problem and i think it has become uh, multiplied over the past two years where a lot of people have been uh, you know Was restricted to home or isolation kind of cases, working from home, where the social interaction has come down significantly. So there is definitely a need. There is a lot of, uh, I think, a lot of solutions have come online, and so that there is definitely a need for that. Uh, I can't give you a detailed answer. I would request you to, you know, write to us and let's have a conversation where, in terms of understanding what exactly you are trying to do, in which space you are trying to address from. You know, there are stages from. schooling all the way to employ your personal mental no. health yeah yeah my focus is not on the minor normal mental health uh, mental health problem yeah. i'm looking at hardcore mental health issues which is not being done it is in that sense um, probably not something that a lot of people would be able to do we are going to have super specialist on the platform so that we reach to that population that really is looking out for services but is not able to get definitely anita as i said you know i think uh, in and this in this call it will be getting be difficult to get into all the details and understand yeah, that you i do It'll understand be good if you can connect with us we'll be happy uh, we can have i have online... been trying i've been trying and i've not been able to make a dent and that's why i wouldn't have raised this if i was able to get even one step entry i'm not getting even one foot in uh, so, so use it uh, as a sounding board let let, so let anita as i said uh, uh, what we can do is uh, 
we have the future ahead of us uh, unfortunately we can't change what has happened in the past but happy to please do reach out use the you know mail id which uh, i'm happy to say that sure again. i will yes. do that and uh, please be assured we'll respond yeah sure thank you very much Uh, we can take one last question uh, yeah uh, dipender singh so dipender singh please go ahead with your question uh, dipender you have to uh, unmute yourself and uh, then talk Actually, Dipender is one of our startups itself. Okay, uh, so maybe uh, is there some? Uh, so uh, Deepak, uh, you are the one uh, who can talk now. Please uh, share your question. Sure. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Thank you very much uh, for the very informative uh, session that we have been uh, witnessing today. Uh, my question is uh, uh, to MSR, uh, sir. Uh, my name is Deepak Kumar, and I represent Namsa Meditech, uh, uh, Noida headquartered startup into healthcare space. Uh, we are well past our MVP stage. We are part of uh, the Nexcom's Rev Up Accelerator program too. Now, um, the problem that typically we are facing is that we have consciously taking, uh, taken a call to not go to the investors for now. We have attraction in the market, which is a way of validating our uh, uh, solution. Now, what we are looking at is um, collaboration with T-Hub where T-Hub can, you know, uh, uh, assist us in some way with their connections with the hospitals in Telangana where we can go for a pilot engagement uh, because that will also pave our way. We are based out of Noida, but that will pave our way to move our base to Telangana actually and, you know, uh, settle over there and uh, spend our business over there. So, uh, MSR, sir. Sure. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Deepak. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, we'd like to understand a little bit more. I saw what you typed on chat. Uh, happy to understand a little bit more. But uh, prima facie, uh, at a principal level, uh, we do have connections with a with, uh, few selected hospitals. And once we get to understand a little bit more about what you're doing and what the, you know, what the value proposition, proposi proposition for, the, for the potential hospitals is, happy to help facilitate uh, connections. So uh, thank you, uh, MSR sir. So in such a case, would you suggest that I uh, send a mail to the community email ID which you mentioned? And yes. I uh, refer to this discussion and then I look forward to some uh, feedback from your end. Yes. So, so my request to, to, you know, to everyone on this call, right, is uh, the fastest way of, uh, for us to get, start engaging is please do drop a mail to the community, you know, the mail ID, I'll say it again, community at uh, thub.co, uh, right. Uh, if you could send a mail out with, you know, with a few details of, uh, you know, who you are, where you are from, what problem are you trying to solve, and what stage you are, uh, we will respond to you. You know, we'll try and obviously we'll uh, we have about 240 people on the call, so I'm expecting we'll probably have 220 you know queries. So we will definitely do our you know uh, we'll do our best to come back to you as soon as possible. Uh, and again, at the request of uh, sometimes in case there's a delay in the reply. Uh, please don't hesitate to send a follow-up mail uh, in case there's a delay in reply. Our endeavor would be to get back to you as quickly as we can. But in case there's a delay, just send us another follow-up mail in case you don't hear from us. We'll make sure we acknowledge every single email, right? And respond to you on potential next steps. Sure. Uh, thank you, Deepak. Uh, so we are exactly at 11.30. Thank you so much, MSR, PS, uh, Suresh, for your time today. And it was a wonderful session indeed. Uh, to all the attendees, uh, stay tuned. We are coming up with a wonderful session in the next 15 minutes. Uh, something on, on depending the startup corporate engagement. Um, so you can use the same link which you have used it for the inaugural. The same link is appear on the chat window as well. Uh, please uh, uh, stay tuned uh, for, for the next 15 minutes. We are coming up with the next session. Thank you everyone for joining. So I would, uh, so on behalf of t uh, first of all, thank you all for the very enthusiastic participation uh, and also many of the questions. Um, the, as I said, you know, the format of this, many of these conversations will need to be one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but thank you for reaching out. Uh, appreciate your, you know, uh, participation 
and uh, we do look forward to serving you in in, in and the form and fashion will define as we go forward but uh, thank you and uh, look forward to working with you uh, in the times to come to help scale your uh, you know your enterprises thank you again thank you for joining every, uh, everyone this morning uh, thank you shankar uh, we we'll move to the next session yes so we'll start the next session exactly at 11:45 so attendees stay tuned uh, you can be on the link take a quick break and come in 15 minutes thank you thank you speakers thank you.